Today I'm joined by James Garner, the CEO of Carsia Therapeutics. G'day James. Now you've had a, a pretty good run on the share, share market over the last 12 months. What have been the catalyst behind that? Well, it's been a really uh, productive time for our company. Our lead drug, Paxalicid, has transitioned into a phase three human trial. And that sounds like a bit of scientific nuance, but this is really the important part of drug development. This is the point where we're really on a path to commercialization. We're within a couple of years now, potentially, of having a commercial product. And that's really got a lot of investor interest. And just as part of that, we've started already to, to realize revenue from the drug through several partnering transactions in recent months. That's brought in 15 million US in, uh, in revenue in the first half of this year alone, with more to come as we hit milestones. So really getting serious for Casio. So I'll try and do the drug name justice, Paxalicid. What, will it, what does it focus? What, what, uh, what will it be treating? Paxalicid is a brain cancer drug, and our main focus is on a particular form of brain cancer called glioblastoma. This is the most common and the most aggressive form of brain cancer, really devastating disease, and unfortunately, a terrible prognosis. Very, very few drugs available to treat it. So really, the, the clinician community is crying out for new drugs. Now, that's our primary focus, but we also have work going on in other forms of brain cancer, childhood brain cancer, other adult forms of brain cancer. So we have a, a lot of irons in the fire with this drug, a lot of opportunities to win. And, uh, and I think that's one of the things that makes Paxalicid such an interesting drug candidate. So what's the roadmap for the development of the drug? You're going into human trials. How far, what sort of timelines are we talking ahead? Well, for glioblastoma, we're potentially within a couple of years of market now. We're, we're in the final chapter of our human trials, uh, and we're really starting to think about how we commercialize this drug. Some of the other illnesses that we're looking at, uh, things like childhood brain cancer, other forms of brain cancer, are a little behind that, but can very, very quickly catch up of, as we see positive data. So uh, as they do, that really broadens the opportunity for Paxalicid and gives it a, a lot more room to move. And then we have a second drug in our pipeline, which is gonna be starting human trials this year. And uh, we're super excited about that because we think there's enormous potential there too. So you're, you're well funded. Where are the funds going to be used over the next 12 months to realize value for shareholders? Well, we really spend almost all our money directly on clinical trials. We're not one of those companies that's got expensive labs or manufacturing facilities, hundreds of people. We spend about 75 to 80 cents out of every dollar directly on clinical trials. So that's where the money goes. Uh, but, but we're actually very fortunate in that a lot of our clinical trials are partly funded by the hospitals that are running them. Uh, there's so much interest around the drug, so much enthusiasm for Paxalicid that we've been able to attract uh, financial support as well as operational support from some of the top cancer hospitals in the world. So we've effectively got a kind of inbuilt gearing to our to our program and uh, that really gets us a lot of trial data for very little money. So a great company doing great things. What would be the last thing you'd say to investors or prospective investors looking at your stock? Well, I think uh, any biotech company, you, uh, you, you judge by its delivery. You know, uh, we're, we're all long on aspiration, but really the delivery is where it counts. And we've seen over the last 12 months some fantastic outcomes for Paxalis and positive data at multiple international uh, medical conferences. We've seen acknowledgement by the FDA with things like fast track designation for the drug. And then in the last few months, we've seen one of the largest pharmaceutical companies in China uh, take out a, a license on the drug for their region worth up to 290 something million dollars, as well as taking an equity stake in our business. So I would say to investors, judge us not just by our aspirations, which are lofty, but judge us by our delivery. Great, thank you, James. Thank you.